I don't know if anybody else has this, but I have been gifted with the power to influence anyone to feel anything I want. I can convince anyone to believe anything. I'm able to read people and figure them out. I can figure people out so easily. And I can use that information to do all kinds of things. People have sometimes called me a mind reader and they've been baffled by my ability to figure out things about them, to know things that I shouldn't. I just watch and observe and I see things. I don't know how, but I see things and uh, they're always true. If I say something is a certain way, reality tends to adjust to my will. I have the power to make anything happen just by saying it is a certain way. It becomes that way. It's really strange, but it's like I can bend reality to my will. You can never really claim to know what's really going on inside another person's head. I mean, I often have ideas and feelings about things and I can see things from a, another person's perspective, but I always try to check in with them and listen as openly as possible. I say, is it true that you're feeling this? Do I understand it right that you are having this experience? I never try to claim to know anybody better than they know themselves. People have to figure themselves out on their own. I believe it's important to be mindful of how you affect other people. Your words have power over others and uh, so you have to be careful with what you say and how you use that power. You have to try to make things better, you have to make a positive impact and you have to take responsibility for your own words and actions. I can't claim to know what's right or wrong in the universe. I can't say I know all the answers. Yeah. Sometimes uh, I have said things I shouldn't have or sometimes perhaps I have been a bit manipulative or sometimes I've held back some things or distorted the truth a little bit. But haven't we all? I mean anyone can do it in a bad time or a bad experience. Anyone can have a bad day. I feel... I am as responsible for what I say and how I influence other people as other people are for how they choose to be influenced by what I say and with what I do. It has to go both ways. I can't claim to know better or to be God. I can only claim to be me and I should try to represent myself as good as possible, both the good and the bad. Yeah, there are things about myself that people might not like or that are a bit harsh or difficult, but it's me, you know, it's who I am. And yeah, I try my best to take responsibility for the worst, but I can't keep everything back I have to be human truth is most people are manipulative most people tell more lies than they tell truths I can read people and I've seen that most people are really pretty dark and nasty people people hide things people think they can uh, control you, manipulate you, exploit you, use you. People mostly think of their own self-interest. And maybe sometimes I do the same, but I always do it for the greater good. I don't know if I'm a good person. Sometimes I've said things I shouldn't have. Sometimes in anger, perhaps I made a few mistakes. I've hurt people in my days. I mean, I've tried to say sorry, but, uh, you know, you can never really undo what you've done, you know. And I find myself thinking back to those moments. And I can still find myself feeling guilty about these things. Uh, even years into the future. 
I carry these things with me and I don't really like to talk about them or open up about them, but I do feel them and I do have them. And uh, I try my best to do my do good, to try to do better, to try to be a better person. You have to be able to forgive yourself. I mean, anyone can have a bad day, but sometimes it can also be warranted to do bad things or to hurt another person. Sometimes people need the harsh truth. Sometimes people need to be pushed. There are some people out there, most people I care about deeply, but there are some people out there that are evil. And uh, sometimes you have to fight bad with bad. You, you have to do things that might not feel nice if it's the right thing to do. I met this um, good INFJ once and uh, honestly I find him to be a really funny guy. You know, he makes himself out to be like this bigger, better person. He tries to do all these things, but you know, most people have a dark side. And you know, the bigger, the more you try to hide it, usually the worse it gets. I'm just more honest than other people. The way I see it, he's a fraud. He's just... Uh, Pres uh, pre uh, presumptuous it's crazy how many people fake being good and you know what they're really trying to do is they're just trying to be better than you they're just uh, trying to beat you you know they're really coming from this uh, desire to inflate their own egos and to make themselves out to be better than other people you know vegans environmentalists they go home and then they, when nobody sees it, throw plastic in the compost, just like everyone else. You know, I've been thinking about climate change, and I think perhaps humanity is meant to destroy itself. I mean, we have grown too powerful for our own good. And I think it's just natural evolution that uh, eventually humans will be wiped out from the planet. And after that other life forms will come that will be hopefully smarter than we are perhaps better but we it's too late for us i don't know if it's too late to do anything about climate change but i try my best you know like i throw the trash in uh, the right container yeah sometimes perhaps when i'm out i've thrown plastic in the uh and bottles and stuff where i shouldn't have but I try my best to take care of myself and uh, the world around me. I buy organic food, I eat vegetarian sometimes, I try not to take the car when I don't need it. I think everybody should just try to do their best, you know. That's what I always tell people around me, just do your best, you know. Like, even the small things are okay. It's all about the small steps. You know, we are not long-footed people. We are small-footed people in them. You know, we're, we're not uh, yet eyes. They're just human. So we have to try to be aware of that. And uh, I don't know if it's too late or if it's going to be enough. But we should just try the best we can. And maybe we can save some of it. Maybe we can preserve some places of the earth, some natural wonders, perhaps we can save some species. And yeah, even if it's just one, it's good enough. Sometimes I really struggle with the general apathy of most people around me. Most of my friends and family don't really seem to care about how big and pressing the problems we face as a humanity, you know, we are moving towards uh, very dark times and we need to change we need to make the future better i want to leave the world a better place for my children but i don't even know if i should have children or if that's bad for the environment i i have been trying to go to protests to be involved to 
make the world a better place at my workplace I've done initiatives to get people to clean up after themselves better to or organize their trash to not use plastics to eat vegetarian I've also got us to cut our car use as much as possible I'm doing all these small steps but it's like people are so resistant to make any change and some people you know they they think I'm extreme or that I'm going too far but Perhaps we have to be extreme. Perhaps we have to go too far sometimes. You know, we're facing an extreme problem and so we need to take extreme action. Still, I don't really like to make other people feel guilty. I hate uh, coming off as superior or as, uh, as if I know better than anyone else. I mean, I don't even know if these things matter in them. They're just small steps in the end, in a way. These things, we're just we're just one company or we're just one workplace. I don't know what good I can do as an individual. It's the people together that has to come together to do something. We all have to take our steps. And perhaps somehow I can inspire a chain reaction. Perhaps I can make people do something. And yeah, I just hope it's going to be enough. Hey everyone. The name is Eric Dorn. and uh, I've been undertaking a research for the past few weeks into good and evil and I've been studying good, neutral and evil archetypes in fiction and uh, in stories. I also did a test with all of you guys and I got a lot of results and I got interesting answers. And uh, I came to learn a lot about good and evil and I'm still really eager to learn more. In the test we did together as a community most people came to surprisingly identify with good. And I don't think that's a surprise at all. I think most people want to see themselves as good people. I, need, I think while the second option was neutral and the third option was evil, most people try to be more good than bad. And I think most people want to be the best version of themselves if possible they want to try to set higher ideals and higher expectations and what you could see here in this video was uh, the good INFJ had too high expectations on themselves and was sometimes kind of crushed by it the evil person had zero expectations on themselves the neutral person had some expectations but also some restraints and some boundaries to how far they took their behavior and actions and what they did. Perhaps sometimes too little, perhaps sometimes too much. But uh, why I'm doing this study is really, you know, to ask a question, a fundamental question of uh, for Jungian uh, fans and uh, MBTI nerds. And it's, you know, how far should we take our desire to be moral or good people? How high should we set our ambitions? What is more important, to be good or to be happy? To be a good person or to live a happy and fulfilling life? Does it matter at all what we do or how we act and how we treat one another? Or is it all up to every individual, like the evil INFJ might say? How much should we believe in our own power to make a difference and how much should we admit humility and recognize our own flaws and weaknesses and the areas where we lack the power to do something. What can we do with not knowing how to handle with a massive threat or a problem to society? How can we deal with you know evil in the world? And how can we create the good definition of good and evil that works for every personality type? When I was reading up on Jung's own theories on evil, the most interesting thing was evil is something nobody wants to admit to. And this makes sense with the results I got. Most people simply do not want to admit to being evil. Not even the evil INFJ wants to admit to being evil in a sense. They can admit to other people being goody goodies, but they cannot admit to themselves being evil. They believe it's all about circumstance. May my circumstance and my environment is responsible for my actions and behavior. I only do what I do because it's a necessity to survive. I only do what I do because everyone else is doing it. There is a system of excuses and rationalizations that make up for it and for the negative feelings and the drive. And often it's that the evil person has no self-awareness in the sense 
And this is interesting in an INFJ because INFJs, they love to search self-awareness and they try to understand themselves and they try to figure things out. But I think the evil INFJ only does this to an extent or they refuse to admit to certain parts of themselves. They refuse to acknowledge problems or weaknesses. And if they do, they joke about it or dismiss it as something to laugh about or something that isn't really a problem. So there is an inability to admit to problems or pain you've caused or people you've hurt. It's a tendency to excuse away bad behavior. And it's an ego trip. It's a high, you know, a high, getting a high out of uh, uh, your own power and your own ability and getting high on, you know, uh, what you can do and what you've been able to do in the past. Refusing not to see the consequences of your actions at the same time. So, measuring good and evil is very difficult. And uh, in that sense, the test was a failure. It's not it's possible to build a test that can accurately measure whether a person is good or evil. Or perhaps evil is just something so rare that it was just not possible to spot it through the test. Often, it's uh, I don't find evil people to dismiss or brush away their bad behavior. It's that they can laugh about it and have a distance to it. It's, yeah, sure, I do that. So what? It's, I don't care. It's because I did it because you said I should, uh, because you pushed me to do it, because I had to do it, because of how you acted. It's the means, the ends justify the means. And uh, what was interesting about most evil and good characters was they both claimed to have a strong idea of what was right and wrong to do in a situation. Both were pretty good decision makers, good people. They had a strong belief that they were doing the right thing. And yeah, sometimes perhaps there's a folly in that, thinking you know what's best. Uh, evil people sim similarly also seem to have a strong belief that they are doing the right thing or that they are t being correct in their actions. They have warrant the actions. They have reasons for doing what they do, no matter how bad it is. So both have a very strong belief system in good and evil. But most people, I think, should be in the midline. Most people should be in the stage of not being very sure about what is good and evil. The neutral person should be a person that has an ambiguity on matters of morality and ethics. They should be a person that doesn't claim to know or isn't sure or sometimes can act confused about what is really good and what is really bad. And I tried to capture that in my depiction of the gray or neutral INFJ. Anyways, these are my first discoveries on good and evil and I hope you find this an interesting video. And if you have any thoughts or questions or ideas about this topic, let me know in the comments down below or join the Discord community. I'll link it in the description of this video. Thanks for watching and see you all in the next